Hi everyone, it's Diane with Sobatique, and today is Fabric Friday and we are talking about our Nuance Gradation Batiks. I have to tell you that I really had a hard time trying to figure out how to show everything that is a nuanced gradation batik. And um, I grabbed this quilt simply because this is a quilt that a friend of ours um, made. And she was up here visiting her daughter at college up at UND in Grand Forks and stopped and showed us this quilt. And it is a discontinued long ago Judy Nehemiah quilt. And it is the tropical, I have to look over here, I keep forgetting the name of this quilt, but it's Tropical Rainbow. And the reason I'm showing you this, even if it's a discontinued pattern, is that the entire front of this quilt is from our Nuance Gradation collection of fabrics. And I will also um, put a little footnote on this, that a couple of the fabrics that are in here are no longer produced. We we did um, have to kind of review all of our color shades and get rid of some of the redundancies, but it is amazing. <laughs> when you think about what you can do with hand dyed gradations and a quilt and your imagination. So let's get into talking about our nuanced gradation fatigues. I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, our gradations, let me just talk for just a minute, are 45 inch wide, they're cotton, 100% cotton, and they're hand dyed. And I think if I were to describe this collection of fabrics, if I said the word ombre, a lot of quilters would say, oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, they are a color transition from one selvage edge to another and they might be a monotone, so it's going from a light shade to a dark shade, or they might be multicolored, where they're going from, let's just say, a yellow to an orange. And that is what this collection is. And so today I'm really excited about it. We kind of put together this little grouping of things in our store here in North Dakota. And it's, like I said, we could sit here and we can show you folded up half yards and yards and the bolts of fabric, but you're only seeing a portion of each beautiful rich color. Um, so I'm going to really, really quickly show you the collection. There's 30 different shades and I've grouped them. I've kind of grouped them like they're sitting behind me here. And you can kind of see, well, let's just jump into it. Let me show you the three groupings of our Nuance Gradation Collection, and then we'll come back and I'll talk to you a little bit about various projects and uses for the fabric. The first grouping of gradation is from left to right, the cantaloupe, and that is from a bright yellow to a bright orange. Tequila Sunrise is a gold to a red. Fuchsia is a really bright, pinky fairy <laughs> down to a purple. It is not eggplant. It is definitely a purple. And the greens, the first one here is fairway. So that's one that we use a lot in leaves and in stems when we're working with applique. The next one is mint. So that is a hot uh, yellowy green. I really like that. It's like a lime all the way to a very rich green that you would use in grass. The next one is Atlantis, which transitions from a blue to a green. Nautica, the blue here, has a very, very slight gradation, but it's perfect for backgrounds and for accents. And it's I've used it so many times. It's just a wonderful shade of blue. The next is Blueberry. And that's quite obvious. It's going from a, a, a turquoisey blue down to that purpley shade that almost matches fuchsia, 
but it's not because it goes more into the blue family than the red family. The next one is hyacinth violet, which is when you saw the jacket earlier, that is the fabric that makes the jacket. And I will show you a little bit more of that jacket. And then the last one here was reading a little bit lighter than it really should because of the light that we have here in our building is um, Terra. And that is, it actually works from a blue up here. It's got a blue hue to it to a black down here at this end. And I just adore this one. This one we used as our, what I call grout in our hearts, um, table runner and pillow. So that's grouping number one. Our second grouping of fabric are what I call the brights and the summers. <laughs> that starts on the left here with our yellow. These all change shade from a light to a dark of the same color family. So where the first set was multicolor, this is one color grouping. And back again, let's start with yellow. The next one is scarlet, that's our red. Black cherry is next. And this is grape, followed by purple, which is really a blue purple. And then we have light turquoise and turquoise. So you can go from really, really super light all the way to dark down here. This is a great background. The next color is Danube, which is blue. And then our last one is Blue Nights. And this is the fabric that I made my classic shirt with this fabric. It's just a beautiful way to make a garment. Our last color grouping is what I would call our, our fall shades. We're starting over here on the left with Copen Blue and Teal. These two are very similar. We're always asked whether or not you know, which one has more blue, which one has more green. And so it's really nice to see these side by side because you can see that the Copen is definitely more blue than the teal. The next two reds on the left side is ruby red, and it has a slight change from the lightest pink area down to the rich color of that ruby. Ruby's my birthstone. <laughs> and the next one is um, cardinal, and you can just see a cardinal's red running right through this fabric. I really love this depth of the red, but the ruby red is, is pinker than the cardinal for sure. The next is rose bouquet, and this is like a pinky peach, a slight transition from one salvage to the other. It's a great background. Cinnamon is next, and cinnamon is, this one here transitions dark here to almost like halfway up. It's very similar. Um, this one should have a little bit more of a grade change in here, but it has a slight one and then it changes within the next quarter of the fabric and then to the light. I'm gonna go into depth on this one later on. The next shade is Adobe. And Adobe really could have been in the first color grouping as well because it transitions between more than one color. So it starts as a gold and then it transitions into really a deep burnt brown. Linen is the colorway of the next one and that is just a great background. I think this is the only kind of a tannish shade that we have in our entire cotton collection that doesn't have a motif in it. And it's just a really slight change in color from the light to the dark. The next two are very similar, as you can see. The one on the left is brown, and the one on the right is called strata. And there's only a slight change in the color family right down here in that area. And the last bold color that we have here is called bark. And if you can think of tree bark, it's really a darker, um, and it transitions from a brown up here, and it gets kind of lighter in the middle, down to a deep, deep, deep brown. I hope you were able to see each one of the different shades from one salvage to the other, 
and it is a little strange to try to show the fabric because most of the time you think about the fabric and you're thinking left to right but the only way to really show that is top to bottom and that's how we showed all of our gradations in our booth when we were traveling to quilt shows is they were all hanging in a, an amazing colorful array so that you could see them open and right below them of course was the fabric that you could purchase Okay, now let's talk a little bit about, I'm gonna show you a few things here first of what we've done with the gradations over the years. And it just is, you know, let your imagination sing with these because of all the colors that you get in one, two, or three of these fabrics. For our garment sewists out there, first I'm gonna show you a picture that's superimposed on this um, video. I made recently, because I've really wanted to do this, a classic shirt from our gradation. And it was from our Blue Nights colorway. And I'm gonna grab a Blue Nights here and I'm just gonna open up this half yard piece so that you can see it with the garment. It is a transition from a very, very light shade over here to the darkest sort of blue and it is blue it is not black but you know traditionally you might want to put something on you that transitions down so light to dark well i really wanted to see something a little bit different and so i did the transition and i think the darkness of this side of the fabric really was better for transition from a complexion and so that became the top of the shirt and then it just transitioned down into the light side at the hem of the shirt. So these fabrics are not just for quilting, but I think when people think about, or when we all think about cotton, um, and we think about gradations or whatever it happens to be, we're thinking quilting, but cotton is cotton and cotton can be worn as we all know, especially with a classic shirt, it's 100% cotton and it is really beautiful. I also, as you know, I am Miss Kimono. It seems like where I always have to make an easy rolled edge kimono um, out of any fabric that we produce. And so we also made a gradation version of this uh, easy rolled edge kimono. And I used the Hyacinth Violet as my fabric to make this um, garment. And I have to tell you, it's, again, I just, I followed the instructions for the rayon version of this pattern. And I, I have to double check and see if I put out there um, the nuance version for it, just so that there's no you know confusion around it. But the reason I use the rayon version is because you can tear cotton just like you can tear rayon. So I measured, I took a snip and I tore it and then I sewed my fronts and backs and sleeves on to create this beautiful jacket. And again, all done on a serger using a rolled hem. So if I were to hold out this sleeve, this is one selvage edge, and then it transitions in color down to the darkest blue. So let me grab that fabric. So you can see the difference between these and how you can just use a simple cotton fabric to create an amazing garment. <laughs> and here we have it. So we have our transition from, I'm gonna turn it around, from our sleeve down to the hem. And we use every inch of the 45 inch wide fabric, just like we do when we're making an easy rolled edge kimono with our um, rayon. So there's really nothing left over. The one other thing that we did make with our, our gradations, and this I think we've, we did this a couple of years ago actually, but I still have it around, is our apron. And this is the Mary Malari apron pattern. And again, just used the gradations to transition. This is Atlantis. And so this transitions from the blue down to the green. And then we did the patchwork pocket here in the contrasting blue to have it show up on top of the green portion 
of this apron. So it's a great way to use a colorway to make something really, really fun. This entire quilt is made, it's a pre-cut kit, and it's made with our gradations. So remember when I said in the color review that the nautical blue doesn't really have excessive color change? You could see that with its display. That's the background for this entire quilt is the nautical blue. And so you really can't see that there's a lot of color change. And then the color inside each one of the petals, this is called um, Flower Garden, is the kit name. And each one of the colors inside, we used six gradations. And again, all pre-cut. So we just used Hyacinth Violet, Turquoise, Mint, Tequila Sunrise. Uh, there must be one more. Or maybe it's only five. Oh, and black cherry so that's it and it's one block and i love the fact that this is just a one block quilt one of these days we'll get this quilted and then on the back wall we've we've worked on so many different projects this is a, a pillow to a table runner that we did that you'll see on our website and it was for valentine's day and when I mentioned the Terra, which is the dark, dark black colorway, this is the grout that I mentioned that is inside each one of the strips. It's like a seam separator between the strips. And it's just a great way to use a dark color. But you can see that the colors that are in the background of this particular wall hanging are the light sides, the light edges of a gradation, and then we use the dark sides in the flowers. This is completely, this was one of the um, Southwind designs. She has a newsletter that I, I enjoy very, very much, and she had a free pattern to make a sunflower. And so I made this out of our gradations, and this is the Atlantis background with tequila sunrise and then I simply used the darkest edge of the brown inside that sunflower and then over here is our rays of hope and we've worked with Carolyn Morris is her name and she sells her patterns on Etsy and it's just such a wonderful way to use so many different strips of gradation to create the rays from the center of the cross of that wall hanging. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful wall hanging. And again, a great, great use of the gradations because you're getting every single portion of the color change of each colorway in that project. Okay, one of the things I really wanna to talk to you about are some, and maybe answer, are some customer questions. One of the most common questions that we do get is, and it's typically referencing a pattern, and the pattern might have fabric requirements that say I need a light, medium, and dark of a blue or any colorway, really. And um, my first instinct, of course, knowing that we have these fabrics, is to say, have you looked at our blue nuance gradation? And then I have to kind of describe for them what that is. And most of the time it's, oh, that'll work perfectly. Now, how do I figure out how much yardage I need if the pattern calls for a quarter yard of light, medium, and dark, or a fat quarter of light, medium, and dark. And my first instinct is, of course, to shift. We have to shift to how do we separate the color changes of the gradation to equal a quarter yard of light, medium and dark. So you gotta put your math hat on, <laughs> which a lot of us don't like to do. And we just have to change our thought process, which means if we're always ordering a quarter yard, which is 45 inches by nine inches, that's a quarter yard of fabric. Then what we have to do is cut our gradation a yard and a quarter, which is 45 inches. 
So let me show you what I mean. And we're gonna use cinnamon here. You think I was gonna use blue, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna use cinnamon. So we have cinnamon and the cinnamon, of course, is 45 inches wide. If we cut 45 inches and you order 45 inches and then we separate this by the equivalence of a quarter yard, which is nine inches, we'll take off nine, well, and I'm gonna bump it up to 11, okay? That's the math part, <laughs> is 11, 11, 11, and 11, which gets us to 44. So we'll have four individual pieces of fabric, which equal four fabrics that your pattern is asking you to find. So let's do this one more time. So now we have our a yard and a quarter, which by the way, is orderable on our website. Most of our fabrics that are cotton are a half yard, a yard, a yard and a half. You know, everything is in like a half a yard increment, which is pretty standard regardless of where you buy your fabric. Um, but with gradations, what we have is one in the middle. We have a yard and a quarter so that you can do this math and equal four quarter yards or two half yards from a yard and a quarter. Okay, let's do this one more time. So what I did earlier is I took that same fabric and I cut it into four equal parts. So we have a cinnamon that now has it's been cut apart. So now this is our yard and a quarter at, we have 11 and a half inches per strip. So you're getting more than you would if you had a quarter yard of fabric. So now we've taken our light and we have that. And if you do purchase this way and cut them apart, then I label the edge and say light, even though you can tell. Here's your medium, because look at the bottom, we're getting into the next colorway. So there's 11 and a half inches at 45. We're getting into our darker medium here. Again, 11 and a half inches by 45. And the darkest edge, which is 11 and a half inches by 45. So you end up with four different shades, mostly. Some are only going to be three. Um, sometimes I think the teal, and I'll be honest, teal sometimes I think has two. So you, you could get a half a yard. Um, of two colors if you order a yard and a quarter um, of that teal fabric. So that is how I answer that question. But if you, I'm gonna try to get you a downloadable little chart that shows this, um, but it works beautifully. So if you only need that shade transition, but you need it to equal the math on your pattern of being a quarter yard, that's how you order the fabric. And that's how you think of the fabric. But if you need smaller pieces, just get a half a yard and you still have all four transitions going across the fabric. If you're doing like an applique project or something like that. And same with the yard cut. So that's how I look at that um, math from a math perspective. Um, or maybe I can put a chart up here so you'll see the chart too. So um, hopefully that answers that question. Um, but when you're really, I think, let me open up one of these, like the Tequila Sunrise, or I could have shown you on the Hyacinth Violet there as well. But with Tequila Sunrise, if you're looking at one side of it, it looks almost red completely. And so this would equal a fat quarter that I'm holding up. And then here's the other side, which is goldy yellow into red. But if you separate this into four, red, definitely lighter red, we get into orange, and then we have a yellow. So in one half yard of fabric, you have a lot of very pretty sunflowers. <laughs> very pretty sunflowers, or whatever you happen to make with this particular fabric. Um, so 
Okay, that's my math lesson. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. But it really is a great way to expand your colorway um, in your batik collection with a grouping of, or even one or two of the nuanced gradation batiks. And so that is our collection. And I want to share with you a couple things too, is on our website, we do have um, color groupings. You'll see those. Uh, and we're going to put those on special. We're going to have our collection of gradations on special for you. And it's just really a treat to include those in your projects. Um, the one collection, the largest collection that we do have is 20, there's 22 gradations in this pack. And this is a half yard pack of gradations that we call um, Pure Joy. And it's not the full 30, simply because um, it was too hard to keep up with how we added each one of the fabrics. And so I have not modified this yet, but you're getting, for example, there's not the two browns in there. So the strata and the brown, you're getting one brown. So you're really getting an amazing collection of the colorways within this particular grouping. So definitely if you, if you want our help putting those groupings together, they're there. And um, send us some questions. I hope this was informative and I hope you enjoyed seeing the different color ranges that you can get within 30 different fabrics, but it's an unending amount of color. So thanks for watching our Fabric Friday here uh, August 19th. And we hope you have a great start to your weekend and comment below. And oh yes, of course. <laughs> We have to talk about a prize. Okay. <laughs> and it's time to talk about our mystery winner, mis our mystery prize giveaway winner for last week's Fabric Friday. And the mystery prize, let's talk about that first. The mystery prize is Jersey Knit. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> you will receive two yards of Jersey Knit in the fabric of your choice along with any garment pattern of your choice. It does not have to be the basic tees that we talked about during the, the um, Fabric Friday. I just want you to have the pattern that you really, if you've had one out there that you've been eyeing, you get that for free as well. And if there are any extra notions needed to make that specific garment, say interfacing or whatever it happens to be um it will be provided so you're going to get your own little special custom garment project kit and we call those fashion duos so that's what you get and your name <laughs> if you're listening is unpronounceable i'm just i'm just kidding it is joanne kamakovsky C-H-O-M-O-K-O-V-S-K-I. Um, you are the great winner of this package. And I really thank you so much for subscribing to our uh, YouTube channel, for subscribing to our newsletters, and for showing so much interest in our quilting projects, our garment projects, our home decorating projects. And we really appreciate it so very much. And I thank you so much for your comment that you gave us about it's time to try a jersey knit tea and so it is time to try and we are going to help you along with that so two yards of jersey knit of your choice a pattern of your choice and all the notions um, that go along with that and so i will send you an email and we'll get in touch and we'll negotiate and we'll get you to the right spot and get this in the mail for you um, all i ask is that you send us a picture of this project i really love seeing what everybody does make. So thank you for this amazing Fabric Friday. And there's no better way, I think, to start a weekend um, than with some very, very pretty bright colors to think about what you're going to do with these gradation fabrics for your next project. And enjoy your Friday, enjoy your weekend, and keep sewing, sharing, and smiling. 